Is uh, Tom Brady on the downside of his career now? He's not going to play for 30 years, so... <laughs> Welcome home, Mears. I'm home. Uh, Mears. Week six is here. Week five, let's forget about it because we were one and three against the spread. Yeah, if this was last season, we would have been four and zero. Oh, but no, we got to pick against the spread, and we suck. Eagles suck too. Yeah, we I mean, might as well just throw them in the mix with everything else. So we're not even doing them this week, but nope. we got the four games we're going to do. So let's get to it. Yep. First game we're going to do New York. Traveling across the country to San Francisco. San Francisco favored by only five at home. Well, speaking of traveling across the country, the Giants are actually three and four when they do that travel across the country. I researched that. It took a while to figure that one out. Uh, San Francisco, 79 to three against the last two teams they played. That's pretty friggin' impressive. They're the best rushing team in the league, having 195 yards. Alex Smith, I, I put my foot in the mouth, my mouth the first week saying that he was not that good. He Eight touchdowns, one interception, 108 pass already. Incredible. I don't think the Giants have any chance of winning this game. San Francisco defense, too strong. I think they're going to run all over the Giants. The Giants' rushing defense has been horrible. I will take the, the 49ers lay the five. We know San Francisco can put a stinker out there, as they did against Minnesota, but Minnesota's backed that up to be 4-1, and one, so who knows. We got the Giants traveling across the country. 3-4, and four, is that good? I mean, you said that as if yeah, that's significant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'm, I'm the kid steal the homework because I'm just taking your numbers. I'm going to blow them up. Alex Smith is good enough. Eli Manning, this is a game where he can duck and chuck and do something special. I'm going to go San Francisco wins, but Giants cover. Next game we're going to do Green Bay traveling to Houston. Houston 5-0. and Green Bay coming off a loss at Indy. 2-3. and Man, I'm good. Houston is our number one team in the power rankings. By yeah, well, laying a boot. Yeah, but they're good. They're a good right. team. They're top 10 in every defensive statistical category. Green Bay coming in with a bit of a limp. They've got two major injuries. Cedric Benson, they're really their only main running back, gone for the next eight weeks. Greg Jennings still nursing that groin injury. Probably won't play this week. To me, it seems like clear that Houston's going to win this game. Unfortunately, I don't think that it's going to be clear. I think Green Bay is somehow going to muster something up. Aaron Rodgers is going to give an MVP performance. I think they win outright, so give me the three and a half, and I'll take the Packers. I think last week woke Houston up. I mean, they, they, the Jets had the ball at the end of the game and could have won. Yes. It took J.J. Watt to swat every pass down <laughs> in the entire game to prevent them from having an opportunity at the end. I think that's the wake-up call. If they had blown the Jets out, I could see them looking past this game to Baltimore. Give me Houston just because of the injuries. And Green Bay, they just don't – this would be a game you think they would straighten up and fly right, but they were up 21-3 to last week. Yeah. And then took the lead and gave up the lead. I don't, I don't have him being good enough for this one. Give me Houston 6 no And cover it. The third game we're going to do, Dallas traveling to Baltimore. Tony Romo come, coming off a career game. <laughs> yeah, five picks. <laughs> <laughs> it was a career. <laughs> it was a career game. Baltimore took a page out of their 2000, year 2000 playbook and won a game without even scoring a touchdown. 9-6 to six over the... Let's say the best team in the NFL. Oh, no, wait. The worst team in the NFL, basically, the Chiefs. I mean, Cleveland's up there. They, they are bad. The Chiefs are giving up 30 points a game, and they and they held Baltimore to nine? I mean, that's pathetic. Um, Dallas coming off the bye. You know how I feel people coming off bye weeks. And I think Baltimore, just like in the last game, I think they're going to be looking forward to that matchup with Houston next week. I think this is a, the perfect position for a trap game for the Ravens. I think they lose this game to Dallas. I don't think Tony Romo throws five picks. Hopefully he had enough time to forget about them. So I will take the three and a half and take the Cowboys. Yeah, the Baltimore game last week hinged on Matt Castle getting injured. That really pumped the crowd up, um, cheering their home quarterback <laughs> right. to, to, to be injured. Knock the fuck out, yes. they're cheering. Uh, Tony Romo coming off the bye, coming off the game two weeks ago with the five interceptions. I fucking suck. <laughs> they're fucking terrible. Give me the three and a half, Baltimore. Give me fucking 15 and a half. Give me 20 and a half. Fuck this shit. That was terrible. The final game we're going to do, Seattle hosting New England going across the country, a little bit north, a long plane ride. What do you got for this one? New England has statistically the best offense in the league. They have the, most, the highest scoring offense and the most yards per game. Um, they've somehow decided that they're going to have a balanced offense this year, and they've been running the ball halfway decent. Seattle, Seattle, their defense is really good, but I just don't think they're going to be able to stop New England. And New England, even though it has a mediocre defense, they're really bad against the pass, good against the rush. Seattle's not going to be able to throw the ball because the rookie quarterback's just not going to get the ball up and down the field on them. I think New England scores a lot of points again in this game, and they cover easily the three and a half. Seattle hasn't given up a lot of points to anybody, so I don't know what your 
on today because I completely disagree with this. Now, New England changed their demographic at running back, and they have improved greatly they have. since they did. Um, that, that helps if you don't have the Woodheads and the Welkers of the world dominating your offense. However, Seattle, Tom Brady, tippy toes. He was ducking last week without anybody within seven yards of him in the pocket. Seattle's going to put pressure on him. I'm going to realize this week that Arizona did the same thing to him, and Seattle's going to do the same thing. New England loses this game. Wow. Now it's time for comments of the week. All right, let's get it all. I fucking love you guys. No homo. Love the hilarious commentaries from Just Crown. I guess it's not a girl, because... We're just crowned homos. Oh, yeah, we were. That's not... Nice. All right, confusion last week with HTTR. I have no idea what Clarified. I meant. HTTR means hails to the Redskins. It's probably hail. Probably hail. The Redskins suck blank, blank dick, though. Wow, I don't know what that blank, blank means. You can read it right here. Videos 4166 with that... Enlightenment. That's Enlightenment. A, that's a uh, very powerful comment. I'm a Jets fan, so fuck you. Wow. We can't, we going to keep it close and win this game. Fuck yo Eagles. And fuck whatever team Fat Artie Lang likes. P.S. Love the show. Now, I think I'm for... Forty, <laughs> Artie Lang. Is that, I, I guess. I mean... I, I think he was referring to me. I don't understand because Artie Lang is fat. Good game ref. Probably one of the replacement refs. <laughs> <laughs> we we kind of ragged on that a little bit. And finally, once again with the HTTR, LOL, as a Philly fan, you should know what HTTR means. Hail to the Redskins. LOL, SKOL Vikings. So I got a couple of issues with this. No, I don't need to know what HTTR <laughs> means in this fucking society with everything goddamn being a fucking abbreviation. GFM, MOLA, LAMFO, X my fucking dick. <laughs> And then you want to confuse me some more with SKOL, like what, suck King Oliver's labia? I don't fuck, what the fuck does that mean? Uh, That's KOL. No v in it, so Explain to... that next week and we'll get you back on the fucking comments. I mean, if it's a Vikings comment, what does... Uh, SKOL, no... school the Vikings. Yeah. Awful. So that's week six on Mullen Mirrors. Week seven will be back because week seven follows week six. That is, that's very good. Subscribe. Scheduling problems though, because you got a fucking job. Yeah, but you got to subscribe. We get our videos out every Wednesday. Thumbs up. Uh, go down. I'm putting the links down below now. So facebook.com slash molamirs, twitter.com slash molamirs, molamirs.com. Go to all of them all at the same time. Right. It'll fuck up your computer, but do it. Giddy up. <laughs>